This is Simon from BoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is part three of my tutorial on how to play Prelude in D Major BWV 1007 by J.S. Bach originally from the first cello suite. So we're starting at bar 15 um, by placing the third finger on the fifth string fourth fret on C sharp the little finger on the 4th string, 5th fret on G, and the 1st finger on the 3rd string, 2nd fret A. Um, and basically we're playing an arpeggio. So we play the 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, back to the 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. So it's... That gives us beat 1 and 2. So now you repeat that for beats 3 and 4. So bar 15 is bar 16 the third finger slides up a fret to the fifth fret fifth string D we place the second finger on the fourth string F sharp that's it the fourth fret and your little finger on the third string fifth fret C and again we're playing an arpeggio so we're playing the fifth string fourth string third string now this time we play the second string open so that's we then play um, the sixth string bass note along with the third string then your fourth string third string fourth string so beats one and two of bar 16 are which we then repeat From bar 15 through to bar 16 we have up with that third finger now keep that third finger down on the D on the fifth string um, and so bar 17 starts with the fifth string followed by the third string open and then the second string open put the first finger on the A on the third string second fret and then we play back with our sixth string and second string open back to the third string open second string open third string open so the first two beats of bar 17 are which we then repeat to continue into bar 18 we have a partial bar at the second fret which will give us our C sharp and the F sharp which is coming up so what we now need to do is play the fourth string second string C sharp we place the second finger on the G at the third fret first string we play um, that note and then we slur or pull the finger off to sound the F sharp so that now is Put the second finger back down on the G and we play the first string and sixth string together. Second string, first string, second string. So uh, beats one and two of bar 18 are. All right, from, B, uh, from bar 15 through to bar 18, we have first finger moves up bar 17 bar 18 no 
notice the thumb playing these alternate bass notes. Bar 19 starts with our fourth string open and the first finger on A on the third string second fret. Bring the second finger over onto the first string second fret for the F sharp. So it's so that's the fourth string, third string, first string F sharp, pulling off to the open E. And now what I do, I bring the first finger and place it on the first string, second fret F sharp for our D major scale uh, passage that's coming into it now. So we play the sixth string and first string together, play the D on the second string, third fret with the second finger, Slow that off to the C sharp at the second fret. On to the third string with your third finger at your fourth fret, giving us B. A at the second fret, third string. G open. F sharp on the fourth string, fourth fret with the third finger. E with the first finger, second fret, fourth string. D open. C sharp on the fifth string, fourth fret. B on the 5th string 2nd fret followed by A so bar 19 is this I'll play that again bar 20 starts with our low G sharp at the 6th fret 6th string so we need to play that follow that by placing the 3rd finger on the 5th string 7th fret E we follow that by playing the 2nd string open and then you need to place the 3rd finger uh, sorry the 2nd finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string so that is now beat 1 is 6th string 5th string open 2nd string 3rd string with your C sharp on it so it's on the 2nd beat we place the little finger on the 3rd string 7th fret giving us D, we play the second string open again and then we go back to the third string C sharp which the second finger's covering and we then hammer the finger onto the D on that third string so that's giving us and you play that twice I'll play that again the third finger and the second finger down drop the first finger back to the fifth fret of the sixth string that gives us G natural and we now need to place the little finger on the fourth string seventh fret A and again that now gives us our arpeggio uh, for bar 21 so we're playing the sixth string fifth string fourth string second string open back to your third string fourth string, second string open, third string, so it's, uh, play again, drop that first finger down, don't move the other fingers, just drop that down to bar the chord at the fifth fret, and we then continue with our arpeggio across 6th string, 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string. Notice we have all the notes we need from the previous bar, we're just flattening that finger down. So we're coming from our... Uh, just drop it down. Which now includes that 2nd string E, the 5th fret. And then finally, we play the little finger on the ninth fret of the second string G sharp. And then that slides up a fret to the A. So, uh, bar 21 and 22 are... Um, And on that A, we can actually 
pause slightly before we move into the next musical phrase. Uh, so from bar 15 we have this, so it's... Walk through that first finger. Keep that third finger on. Partial bar. Scale passage. G sharp. Drop that first finger back. Fire it down. And that is a good point um, today to end this tutorial um, on the Prelude in D major. Um, I hope this helps you to play this wonderful piece. Music and tabs are available free from my website www.boltonguitar.com co.uk uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial where we'll continue from bar 22 um, for another few more bars I'll see you then bye for now